But so, you know what? The new beginning of God, the newness, the power of newness of God, it doesn't, you don't necessarily feel it in the flesh or see it in the flesh. It's something you receive by faith. What is Nissan One? And that's why I'm going to do something at the end. We're going to have a ball that dropped. No, no, we won't do that. <laughs> but what does it mean? It manifests the fact that God is the God who changed the calendar. He changed it for Israel. They had another year. He changed it. God changed the calendar. That's what Nissan One is about. He made a beginning when there was no beginning. And he made an end of the old when there was no end. Why? Because God, your God, is the one who gives his people, gives you a new beginning. Where there was no beginning, he gave you a new beginning. And where there was no end, he made an end of what was before. Messiah said to Nicodemus, he said, I tell you, you must be born again. And Nicodemus says, how can a, ma how can a, how can a man be born again when he's old? He doesn't understand. He's thinking of the natural. But see, the thing is, if you are, if you know God, if you're his child, you have been born again. That God gave you a, a new beginning, a new calendar, a new ni a Nissan one of your life. You know, now Nicodemus is saying it's impossible. You can't have two beginnings. You can't have two births. When you're old, you can't become new. You can become old, but you can't become new. But in the power of God, you can. In the natural, you can't have a new beginning. In the supernatural, you can. Now think about it. What, what was, when Nissan won, what was, that, what was that linked to? When God says, this is the new month, this is going to be the new beginning of years for you. It's going to be the, this shall be the beginning of, of, of the year. What, what was that linked to? It was linked to Passover. Because in that month of new beginnings, is going to, the month that's going to be called the beginning, is going to come the Lamb. It's going to come salvation. So all that's about, the, the next thing he says, he talks about the Lamb. So the, the link there is the Lamb is linked to Nisan 1. The Lamb is linked to the new beginning. So Messiah the Lamb is the one who has the power of new beginnings. Linked to new beginnings. New birth. Even the fact today that the children of Israel are not celebrating the day of their new beginning because for 2,000 years they've missed their new beginning. Amen. They can't start new until they find the new beginning in Messiah. Oh, until you find the new beginning, you're still in the old. When you find the new, you begin. Now, it's amazing. Nobody celebrates. What does Nisan 1 tell you? How important this, this day is from God. Every other holy day comes from this day. You can't have any other day unless you get this day. And yet, everybody misses it. It means most people are also missing the new beginning of their lives. God gave the new beginning, salvation, and most people miss it. Even those in the new birth miss the power of the new birth. If God gives a new beginning and most people miss it, even his own people, that means it's very easy to miss the power of new beginnings. You have that power by God gave it, but you can miss it. Unless you observe, he said, keep this day, uh, keep this Nisan 1, keep it, observe it, observe it, keep this. Unless you observe that power, you celebrate that power, you won't see that power. It says, if anyone is in Messiah... He's a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new things have come. Now everybody who's born again has been given a new beginning. You were given a new beginning. If you're born again, that day you came to the Lord, that was Nisan 1. If you haven't come to the Lord, you need the Nisan 1. But notice what it says. It says if anyone is in Messiah, he is a new creation. It doesn't say he, he became a new creation. Like when you got born again. It's, of course, they, that's included. But it doesn't say he, because then, then that would be it. It says you, he is now a new creation. In other words, the, in other words, how can you, you're not new once and then you get old. Because if, if it was about the fact that you got saved, that is, of course, it begins there. But if that was it, that may have happened 10 years ago, 20 years ago. That would be old by now. But in God, it never gets old. 
The power has got to be every day. The power is every, it's like Nissan One every day. That's what it's about. If anyone is in Messiah, he is a new creation. Amen. Not once was new, pretty new, newer than he was when he was born. Doesn't say that. You have to be new now. Doesn't happen in the natural, only in the supernatural. The true power of the new creation is to be always new, renewed every day. Now think about what covenant are we in? We're in the new covenant. Now think of it. Now we kind of think that the new covenant means it's the new covenant because it came after the old covenant. Well, there's truth to that, but that's not the, that's not the full meaning of it. Because if it was the new covenant because that came after the old covenant, it would be the newer covenant. But then again, then again, it happened 2,000 years ago. It wouldn't be new now. So how is it the new covenant? Because it's the covenant of newness. It's always new. If you, if you start getting old in the Lord, it's not because the new, it means you kind of drifted away from the new covenant. You got to get back. See, in the new covenant, it's Nissan 1. Think about it. Right now, in the world, what, what, what is happening now? Hopefully, springtime is, is coming. When you're born again, it's like springtime. When you're born again, it is like Nissan 1 for your life. It's like springtime. Now, now the thing is, when, unless you saw my email, because when I realized this, I got to tell them, I sent out a quick email saying, I'm not doing the other message, I'm doing this one because of this. But, you know, most of you today were not thinking when you got up, it's New Year's Day today. <laughs> you were not thinking that. In fact, it looked like any other day. It looked like a spring day. It doesn't look like that. But so, you know what? The new beginning of God, the newness, the power of newness in God, it doesn't, you don't necessarily feel it in the flesh or see it in the flesh. It's something you receive by faith. God says all things are new if you're in Messiah. That doesn't mean everything around you looks new. It doesn't. The world is still old. The flesh is still old. They don't look like it. They don't feel new. But inside, you've got the power of newness. If you will choose it, take it, believe it, observe it, celebrate it. You can, be, you can live in complete newness every moment. Amen. Nissan One. It's not just about a new day. It's about a new calendar. Yes. The people of God have two calendars. The first calendar is when you were born. Natural calendar. That tells you how old you are in this world. It's that which is born of flesh gets old and dies. But then God gave you a new calendar. The, when you were born again, new calendar. Now the old calendar, in the old calendar, things only get old. In the new calendar, things actually get new. The key is to choose which calendar you're going to live by. You're going to live by the old calendar or the new calendar. Hi, I'm Jonathan Kahn, and I hope you were blessed with the video. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and tap the bell icon so you're notified every time a new video is posted. Feel free to share your reactions with your comments and how you were blessed and share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.